Slips, trips and falls can result in fractures, dislocations and musculoskeletal disorders. They cause 23% of injuries to school staff and can result in the school being sued if a student, contractor or visitor is injured. Let's look at some common causes of slips, trips and falls and how we can prevent them. Level changes and slopes are a common hazard. So try and improve visibility, provide handrails and floor markings. Steps with irregular heights and small steps less than 150 millimetres high are particularly risky. Falling from the bottom step is surprisingly common, so take care on the bottom stair. Installing suitable floor surfaces or placing mats in areas that get wet and slippery. Ensuring that mats are securely fixed and do not have curling edges. Plan pedestrian routes where there are busy or overcrowded areas. Ensure good lighting levels. Do not place school bags where people can trip over them. Store items away from walk areas. Take swift action if there is a spill or a wet area. Identifying and assessing any potential hazards will help to address and prevent any problems. So perform regular school inspections, create a checklist and keep records of any repair works carried out. We all know that people can't fly, so falls from any level can result in injury. A simple act like hanging posters, adjusting an overhead data projector can cause a serious injury or fatality. Chairs and stools with casters on slippery surfaces can cause compound fractures. Replacing the casters with glides or purchasing special friction casters can manage this problem. Working at heights above two metres is a leading cause of death in Australian workplaces. Suitably qualified tradespersons or contractors with appropriate equipment, written procedures and an emergency rescue plan should only do high risk work above two metres. Remember that slips, trips and falls are the second biggest cause of injuries in schools. When attempting any activity, think safety first. Prevention is always the best approach. So have regular inspections, create checklists and fix hazards where needed. <laughs>